Hold up. Hey yo, Finn here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. And I still can't get over what happened last time, which of course is this glitchy, this glitchy abomination right there, which is supposed to be Sayori. But don't worry, guys, I'm feeling a lot more better after that episode so oops I just fix that off there you go so um yeah I have no words to say right after what happened last time but we're just gonna continue and get to the bottom bottom of this and see if there are any changes or something else happening in this game so um yeah um before I begin this video, be sure to leave a like, share it with a friend, and of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it really does help me out, and click on the bell notification on what videos I upload. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you guys already know the gist. What time is it? It's Doki, Doki time. Okay, so now we continue off with these three now since I already died. So really sucks that that she's not around us anymore so F F for F for Sayori so anywho uh got Monica okay so <coughs> okay, didn't forget that but I just ran I just happened to run into him in that case I should at least make some tea right yeah that would be great why don't you come sit down Finn the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens a closet. Meanwhile, Mon Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling uh, awkward, I f take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out the putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really go to this club before we graduate, right Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki re reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked really hard to just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. Keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea really uh, help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Yeah, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. I guess it seems that we uh, already been here on on the previous episode which I already read, I think it was episode 2 and stuff. Hmm. That, don't worry, that was my uh, my girlfriend back there, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue. But again, it seems like I've been reading- I'm reading the same thing back in the previous episodes, but... We'll, we'll see, we'll just go through them again. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So Finn, what do you, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? Manga. Like I said, manga is literature, guys. 
Manga is literature. I, I already said it. So I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Oh yeah, guys, um, forgive me, my voice isn't the, uh, the, the, the greatest or best, I guess, because um, my freaking gums here, my gum here, kind of hurts right now. But I'll try my best to, um, you know, read it for you guys. But again, this this here really hurts. Like when you when I uh, touch it, really really hurts. So yeah. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious, by the way, her eyes light up that she finds her in comfort of the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? And uh, forgive me again, my nose is kinda runny, but it's fine, so. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have, be having a conversation with a rock. Ah. <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... You, Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of, piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called don't say it out loud and give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. And that way, everyone is even. Um. <coughs> Yuri, uh. I mean, I thought I it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like we have it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Finn? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm, eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Finn. The thing is... 
we don't have enough members yet to form an official club we need four and I've been trying really really hard to find new members and if we don't find one one more before the festival um, I'm defenseless against these girls how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation and besides the club itself is seems very pretty relaxed so if poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I think I might be in trouble. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, sure, they're beautiful, but don't get me wrong. That's just me being honest or something, but no. <laughs> okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lit up, light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Finn? Yeah, it could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you're really just gonna left... <laughs> I lost my sense of words, I forgot, sorry. I mean, if you're really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. <laughs> Finn, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this, you're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the, to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. <coughs> Excuse me. Finn, I look forward to see how you express yourself. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I don't know. We'll see about that. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the class. I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between these, between the three girls, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Huh. Maybe. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. If you have unlocked a special poem, would you like to read it? Um, special poem. I don't know about you guys, but we'll see. So, I think I feel this might be a little, little bit fishy, but. Should I do it? I'm having second thoughts. If I'm going to say no, I'm not really sure about that, but... What? Is this it? It just says, you. can you hear me? Is there, is there something else here? No scrolling down or something? Okay. <laughs> Okay, that really scared me, okay. Huh. Ah, uh, kinda sucks that Sayori isn't here anymore, but oh well. I'll save later right after this, so... Not beauty... Uh. Hmm, okay. Uh... I mean, I'm kind of surprised that Sayori's words are still here, but instead, um, Natsuki right here reacts to it, which is very interesting. Alright, he then. Alrighty. Let's see about that. Hmm. 
seems like I uh, picked Natsuki on this one, I guess, or something. I don't know. Hi again, Finn. Glad to see that you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might take. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <laughs> Okay, um, as soon as I snort or sniff, I did not see that coming because did you see that? Did you see Yuri's face glitching out for some reason? Wait, why is the music? Alright, thanks for keeping your promise, Finn. As soon. Um. That's weird, um, as soon as I saw Yuri's face glitching, for some reason the music starts to amp up. Like, that's weird. Wait, the music is speeding up, that's weird. I hope this isn't too overwhelming Overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not, look, you're not accustomed to it. Oh. And Natsuki is glitching as well. Oh come on, like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan just to come here or hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. And it seems... wait... Is the game looking a bit weird or is Monica... Um, is Mon... I don't know what to say, I mean, look look at Monica here. She, she She's covering the speech box here and for some reason Yuri and Natsuki look a little bit off screen or something it looks a little bit tilted uh, it says Natsuki certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club M manga Natsuki finds herself stuck between say Monica and manga manga is literature swiftly defeated Natsuki plops back into her seat I'm sorry, Finn. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway... Why is... Uh, you know what? Sure, let's save it here for some odd reason. Feeling a little bit weird, but alright, we'll see about that. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well... I can't really say no either way. <laughs> like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. W wait, I didn't mean it like that. Ooh, if you really, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to be, I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it might keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Aww. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. And the uh, the game starts, and everything looks normal again. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica, Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her in notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ah. I hear Natsuki utter an ex exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. 
Why is the music ramping up and slow for some reason? And now it's normal, alright. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You're looking for something in there? Effing Monica. Mm, I can't show that. I can't show that. I cannot show that. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written in your on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side. Of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns into a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sign in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's terrible. If you're just gonna judge, you can do it. You can go do it through the class on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. That was the tone of your voice. I'll tell you one thing, Finn. Consider this a Consider this a lesson from the literature club. Don't judge a book. A bunch of K's. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. <coughs> she, shoves the, she shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, I start the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Then she takes a seat against a wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs won't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why is that? Eh, I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. <laughs> Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. So sorry. <coughs> oh. Uh, excuse me for a minute there. I didn't exactly expect to be this. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I don't, won't notice. I can I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. A typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? And here we go again in a close up with Natsuki. You know what? Sure. Save that there. Just because. Uh, yeah. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I won't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. 
I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravi gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the crap out of me if he found this. Again, I can't show that. I can't show that word. That's not, that's not right. Oh, okay, and what is this font? What is this font here? That's weird. <laughs> okay. Um, whatever you say, Natsuki. At least it's safe here in the room. Except Monica is kind of a jerk about it. Oh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh... Uh... So? <laughs> Geez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah, I flipped the page. Uh, uh, dot dot, dot dot. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses in front, straight into me. Hey! Oh, Jeebus! Okay. And the music is a little bit distorted now. That's a little bit weird. And I don't know what Natsuki is saying right now. Okay. Oh. Hello, Monica. Oh, that's a little bit weird. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Hmm. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... Hmm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry Finn, she's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Okay, that's a bit weird, but alright. So again, Sayori is not here, so I guess I'll show my poem to Natsuki. But for now, I guess I'll save it here. Okay, Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested. Give me one second. Okay, um, my girlfriend called me again, and I know this happens so many times in so many videos I'm kind of making right now, but it's fine, it's an exception, because I, 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 I couldn't ignore her, guys, like, come on. Come on, but anywho, let's just continue. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Alright, let's start with good old Natsuki here, of course. Uh, okay, well, let's let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, uh, Natsuki <laughs> reads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. And then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ooh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ooh. Well, I could be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well it's not 
that <laughs> well it's not that great but but let me show you what real literature looks like and you went and ruined it I hope you're happy huh? so in other words you're just saying you liked it er Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat ooh you're so you just you don't understand anything do you I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important Pretty sure you never actually did that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really <laughs> hate me or something. Aww. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Er, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I won't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be so sophisticated and stuff. So people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read and it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme at the end, but then it then made it fall flat on purpose. It brings help out, bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it th than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Ah, hair in my way. Oh well, sorry. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decide to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, next one could be Yuri, so Yuri's up next. Let's do this. I thought, hmm. Um, Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough, enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, so, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. N no. Then I just raised my voice. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Yuri braced her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take he it might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of pick learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Right, getting back to it. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, as it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many, there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing a, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Uh, um, 
Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to her, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I want to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? I mean, yeah, it is. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. That must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Uh, I am sorry if I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, well I just don't read script very often. Taking too long to read, that's... No, I, I can read cursive very fine. Like, it's not like... Like, like... Like that or anything. It's just that, well... I, I can read cursive, alright? So, don't don't blame me. Uh, uh, uh. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. <coughs> Excuse me? Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Finn. Really? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets, poets can often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that I won't be long before I pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll keep trying. I'm counting on you. And of course, it'll be the last and one and only Monica. Hi Finn. Having a good time so far? Yeah, I am having a good time so far. I'm joking guys, well... Depends on your opinion, but for me, if I uh, have friends who are like that, I mean, it's fine, it's fine, I'm just joking, so again. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. I sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not to be very good. Well, just cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole, hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burnt eyes can no longer see color. Are the others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic crawling tricks. Frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my tears, I brandish my pen. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has pretty gotten popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be very powerful. Well, what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, 
Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm sorry. <coughs> Something's a little bit wrong with my throat and I don't know why. Ugh. Later, I'll uh, deal with that later. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of... <coughs> coming on strongly. Sorry. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a, writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll may never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Alright, that's uh, that's pretty good so far, I guess. And now, <laughs> already reached that it's now already midnight. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. The music starts to get a little, little weird now. That's uh, that's something. That was a little bit more stressful than I anticipated, as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. My Island of Yuri Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll save that right there. And yeah, that's a, that's a little bit weird. Like, guys, um, is it just me or is this, uh, this game a little bit weird than it used to be? Like, um, sometimes it looks kind uh, like, like I said earlier, the uh, the music starts to amp up, amp down slowly, or stuff like that, and then the glitchy faces of uh, Yuri Natsuki, and then glitching uh, stuff like that in there. That's that's actually really weird all of a sudden, but. Um, I don't know, that might be some kind of a bug or I don't know, but like I said, I know I know I said in one of my previous videos that I've seen gameplay of this one online, but again, this is just my first time seeing it here on person, so bear it with me, but again, I know what I'm saying or I don't know, but again, it's just weird to experience this in, in person, so yeah. Um, Anywho, uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Uh, I might as well end it here right now. So, uh, like I said before in the beginning, so be sure to leave a like, share it with a friend, and of course, if you want to, see, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It really does help me out, and click on the bell notification on what videos I upload. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess this game has turned a little bit weird now. So, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay awesome, love you all, Finn the Diamond Knight signing off, see you guys next time!